Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. In this episode, our task is to make a drag and drop mechanic. Let's get right to it. We will use this Globals Helper class for easier access to content, sprite batch, and elapsed game time. The input manager provides information about the cursor position. And when the mouse button is pressed or released, the game manager will bind everything else together. We will use these textures in our project. Okay, let's start coding. First, we create a sprite class. It contains texture, origin, and position. We will also need a bounding rectangle, created according to the current position, shifted by the origin. The constructor sets the origin to the center of the texture, and the standard draw method. Next, we will make an interface called draggable. It will require a rectangle and a position. Now let's take a look at the drag and drop manager. It keeps a list of all draggable items and the currently dragged item. Of course, we need a method to add elements to the list. A method that detects if we have started dragging. First, we check if a click occurred. And if yes, we go through the list. Then select the first element that is under the mouse cursor, if any. Another method will check for the mouse drag end. We deselect the item on the mouse button release. We use these prepared methods as part of the update. First, check the start of the drag. We set the position according to the mouse. And finally, we check the end of the mouse drag. Back in the interface, we add a method to register the instance in the draggable list. Let's try it out. We'll create a gem class that inherits from the sprite. In addition, it implements the draggable interface. It registers itself within the constructor. We will use the game manager to prepare for a test. Instantiate a gem and call its methods. And here we go. Dragging the gem works perfectly. We will do the drop part next. We will make an interface for drop targets. It will also require a rectangle and a position. Let's add a list of targets to the drag and drop manager. And a method to add to the list. Another method that detects if a valid target is present. It goes through the list of targets and compares the positions. If it finds a target, the game logic executes here. We will just set the position as an example. And we'll add this check as part of the mouse drag stop evaluation. Back in the targetable interface, we add a method to register the instance in the targets list. We'll create a socket class that inherits from the sprite. In addition, it implements the targetable interface. It registers itself within the constructor. We are back in the game manager to prepare for another test. Instantiate a socket and call its methods. And we are ready. When we drop the gem near the socket, the gem snaps to its position. Great. And as a final demonstration, we will make 10 instances of each type. Let me know if you like this episode. You can find the code in the description. Have a topic you would like to see next? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.